pretty sure it was hurt. Should I go to the police? Oh! Oh, dang! Yeah, sure, go to the police. Go for it. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is Yellow. truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, All right, I Principal mean, Wells will not do Diddle Squad. But we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Should we tell her to look for more proof instead? Because I feel like Kate's gonna get murdered by going to the Capsies. So it'd be like, oh, I think this happened or something like that, and then the out, Prescotts are gonna bribe I've or something like that. I actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Now, you're, now we're, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go for the proof thing because, you know, once we do go to the police, we want we want to have some solid proofsies. This is not how I would handle this in real life, but, you know. Alright, here we go. What? Why the frick? Why, why, why didn't... Oh, come on. Could it, could it rewind slower? Stop going so slow. There we go, there we go, there we go. Boosh. Alright. What Jesus, the frick? This is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth... Oh, okay, so we're putting the book there. Skip. Skip all that, skip all that. Look for proof. Let's go with that. That way, when, when we go that, to the police, we have, we have some proof. We have some police. All those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. I'm just sad, because it so probably will be. No, no, okay. no. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Hmm. This is a tough situation. I don't like the, the two options that we have. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Alright, I think we're gonna stick with this decision. I think we're, we're gonna stick with it, because, you know, maybe it has a bad con- or maybe it's bad now, but it'll be good later, hopefully. Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. Come to me, all to who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. When justice is- when justice is what? Clone? Is clone- is clone? 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 I- done! Ju <sighs> Who does that? Who? Ah, man, I hate when people write like that. All right, when justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evil doers. And it looks like she doesn't believe in that anymore. All right, uh, leafy, leafhead, la la la, clothes, tablet. Should we? Oh, violin. Plays the violin. That's awesome. I really want to start playing the violin. Yeah, we're gonna erase what's on what what's on the outside of her board. If she's getting bullied hardcore. I don't know, maybe she needed her backup at, in that moment. You know, we're gonna stick with it, because hopefully we're protecting her in this moment. Cause we know because we already know that the, the priests and the and the faculty are not good in this uh in this game. In this area. Max, food, two whales, see you there, don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay breakfast, no emoji. Alright. So we gotta go get food at two whales. So let's go do that. Can we draw something else? Can we draw something life giving? Alright, here. Let's go. Walk faster, run! We're not talking to Brooke, forget that. We don't even know who Brooke is, right? I don't think we know who Brooke is. Loading screens for days. I feel like a game like this would be better to stream and then to upload 
like entire episodes instead of like breaking up an episode into parts like like what I did with episode one I broke it up into like six different parts I don't know you know I, I think I'm gonna stick with uh, breaking it up into parts Max, it's over here. oh it's Warren what are you doing here? Whoa! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Freaking Nathan just clocked him in the face. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. That was intense. Uh, I'm gonna say thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was. Awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, <laughs> pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Uh, uh, Chloe Price, just uh, just a pirate. An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question: Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. Don't get involved. Let's see, I busted, busted him? him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say. Hey, anything. we weren't scared. We just knew that I'll Principal Wells would say me. something, and then we'd get You're wrecked. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a '70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Really? Let's go ape. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. I'll text you the info. Yeah, Warren definitely likes us. Oh no, are we gonna? Oh, we're we're gonna be freaking in, encountered with something else, and we're gonna have to tell Warren no, and then he's gonna be put down by that. And ugh, ugh, that's fine. You know what? We're just gonna hope that doesn't happen, and we're gonna continue with the game. Cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Hmm. Or Rachel. Probably both. Maybe Rachel was a victim of something that Kate's about to be a victim of. Did you guys see that? His hairstyle changed. Look at that, the bus driver had like a hat, like in that one picture, and then now he has like this freaking high and tight. What is that all about? You, you guys saw that, right? Look at that, freaking... His hair just changes. <laughs> I don't know why that, why that happened. Oh my gosh, more copyrighted music. Perfect. That's what I need. Ugh. Every every episode has some kind of copyrighted music that, that gets one of my videos taken down, probably. That's fine. You know what? It's Life is Strange. It's a video game. Hopefully they don't want to take down my video. Because they knew that they were having their, uh, their song in a video, so I don't think it would be taken down. Plus, it's not like I'm making like a crap ton of money on these videos, so... They're not gonna sue me for anything. I do like this, the music in this game, though. I like the guitar. Blackwell Academy Transportation. There's the lighthouse. Mm. Is that a foreshadowing? Oh no. So last we left off, Chloe knows everything, and then apparently there was like a sneak peek thing where Chloe was like on train tracks and she was about to get wrecked. So this looks like this is Two Whales. Oh, Two Whales is a gas station. Interesting. We're having breakfast at a gas station. Oh, no, we're not. It's across the street. Oh, man, we're in the real world now. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Flyers! Fisherman. 
Say hello, our city. All right, you know we're gonna we're just gonna go straight in. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes Love me it. feel thirteen again. All right, where's where's uh, Chloe clothes? Weird, pff, weird lady. <laughs> Why is she? <laughs> Why is she called that weird lady? You know what? Weird people are some of my favorite people. It's weird people get it. Weird, weird, weird people understand things. I feel like the cool kids and whatnot just don't get. It. Oh, cop! Yolo, let's speak to a cop. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Hungry. <laughs> just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Yeah. Well, that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. <laughs> Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. Chloe. <laughs> so I have to go. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <laughs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Well, that's not good. Who told you? No big thing. I have to go. That's not good. <laughs> That bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? We're the pot dealer, <laughs> apparently. I know her, not really. I know her. I know her. We can't just say yes. She can be. Yeah, she can she's be, our friend. She can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. Who is Joyce? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Oh, Joyce is the mom, and then we take care of this place the other like dude is the dad. The kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. <laughs> David. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. <clears throat> we know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. He has a reputation. He has a reputation. He has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. I want to go talk to Frank now. I feel like Frank would be cool. What? Gumball stand? Oh, okay. If we clicked on that, she'd probably be like, Oh my gosh, I remember always looking at the gumball stands. Rachel. Jay, wow. So does your mom. Wow. Gross. Uh, photo. What does that say? Firewall. What? Oh, there's a, there's a photo thing. Yeah, so when we take all the photos, I think we get an achievement or something like that. But it's Steam, so it's not like it goes to our gamer score, so it doesn't even matter. I know it looks like I'm playing Xbox, because I have an Xbox controller on, or plugged in, but I'm playing on the computer. Yes, that's Nick. Ah, <laughs> uh, right, where, where's, where's freaking Chloe? Is she late? she at the end here? Booths. Oh, okay. That's where that's where we're sitting, and then I'm, I'm sure she'll probably meet up later. All right. I yeah, will sit here. Why not? Yolo. There's cars going by. And there she is. A lovely, a lovely young, young woman. woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you. You look the same. Oh. Like I'm still a waitress at two whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. <laughs> nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. Oh, wow. I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. Oh, well. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. 
I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe has changed. Chloe has changed. And I honestly don't think Chloe understands, so we're not gonna lie. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I mean, do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? <laughs> David scared me. David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in the war. He does care that mean about anything. her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Actually, it means something, but it doesn't mean anything regarding this. I get it. He cares about Kate Marsh? Question mark. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. It's Chloe. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelette? Or the Belgian waffle? Uh, let's go with the bacon omelette. I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. Now finish your coffee. <laughs> now finish your coffee. <laughs> Just slapped. Like you, you guys feel like the force in in that in that line. One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. Stay up. Is Chloe gonna walk in while we're waiting for this? Oh, drink. We'll, we'll take I a little drink. The delicious anticipation of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not, not a, bar. a bar. No beer? Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. <laughs> Was that a freaking calculus? Nerd graffiti. Warren must have Oh no. <laughs> it's algebra. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the okay, out the window. So mysterious. It does. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Oh gosh, no. I guess I actually can now. Yeah. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Oh man. That was deep. That was deep. Alright, we're getting our food coming in. Your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Yeah, we will. I'm drooling like a baby. <laughs> Still can't. I thought we were gonna wait for Chloe before ordering. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Oh. <laughs> Speak of the devil. 